Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook. In this video, we will be connecting an ESP8266 to a Raspberry Pi in order to read data from a VL53L0X distance sensor. I'm doing all this since the distance sensor libraries for the Raspberry Pi are outdated, but the ones for the ESP actually work. So the way we're going to do this is by using a serial connection between the Pi and the ESP through a USB port. The things that we will need for this video are a Raspberry Pi, an ESP8266 board, three jumper cables, a VL53L0X distance sensor, and a micro USB cable with data transfer capabilities. If you need to connect a different sensor, you will just need to modify the code slightly to accommodate your sensor. All right, so let's first start off by programming the Node MCU ESP8266. So in order to do that, what you'll need to do is to go to my GitHub link at this URL right here. It'll also be in the description below if you need it. And you need to click on ESPConnection.ino. And here is all the code that we will be using for this tutorial. So let's copy all of this. Go into our Arduino IDE. And then paste this in. So before we can upload all this code to the Node MCU, we will need to install the VL53L0X library um, by going into Manage Libraries. And once this updates a list, we can type in VL53. And we should be able to find the Adafruit library, which is the second one right here. And you'll just need to hit Install on it. So once you have that, you will need to go into tools, make sure all of your uh, node MCU settings are correct and hit upload. So while this code is uploading, let me just explain how the code works. So here we're importing the Adafruit VL53 L0X library and we are beginning the serial at a baud rate of 115,200 and we're just making sure that the serial is connected and once it's connected it goes on to begin pulling the um, distance sensor and now it actually uh, now it goes into the loop and inside this loop it's pulling the sensor again and it outputs the measurements from the sensor to the serial so you if you see this right here, you'll see that there's an ESP underscore start and an ESP underscore end. So basically what this is, um, is it's just the start and end of the message, which is pretty self-explanatory. And the reason why we're doing this is because during the serial output, there are many additional characters that are added. And just to filter those out, we are um, including the start and end of the message. And we're doing that same thing down here if it uh, says that it's out of range. All right. And finally, there's just a delay just to make sure that we're not constantly pulling the sensor and we give it time to scan. So we can see right here that the upload is complete. So now we can go on to programming the Raspberry Pi. All right. So now to flash the Raspberry Pi, uh, we need to open up the rpiconnections.py file in my GitHub and we need to copy this code. Now we need to SSH into the Raspberry Pi and I already have an SSH window open right here and we will need to create a new file. So we'll type in nano espconnection.py and we'll paste in all of that code. So let me go through how this code works. So we are importing all of these libraries that we will need for serial. Now we are connecting to the serial with the same baud rate as the ESP at the USB zero interface. And we are just reading the line. And this is just checking if the um, ESP connection timed out and it will disconnect if it does. So here we have the um, message start and end indexes. So this is just checking where the ESP start message is and the ESP end messages. And it's extracting each message from that line that it records up here. And finally it prints it, but you can store this into a variable and use it in another program. 
All right, so now let's exit out of this. So control X, Y, enter. And now we need to connect the ESP to the Raspberry Pi. All right, so now that you have it connected, you will need to run the file by typing in Python 3 espconnection.py and we'll run the program. So now let me move my hand close to the sensor. Let me bring it closer. You can see that the um, measurements are decreasing. Now let me bring it further away. Now you can see they're increasing. Now bring it close, far away, close, far away. So now that you can see that the sensor actually works. And this is going through the ESP8266 into the Raspberry Pi, and I'm accessing this through SSH. So if this works for you, you've successfully completed this tutorial. Leave any questions that you may have in the comment section below. But with that said, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.